Many, including myself, believe that artificial intelligence has the potential to reshape healthcare in China. But where exactly is AI now in terms of industry applications? Has it reached its potential? Let's find out more. In China, hospitals are working together with AI startups and venture capital investors. And together with the government policy support, they are the driving forces of China's booming AI industry, especially in healthcare. So the lack of doctors, for example, uh, makes uh, the China um, have a very strong appetite for innovation when it comes to uh, AI and healthcare. This is Dr. Lu Qingjun, who works for one of China's top hospitals, China-Japan Friendship Hospital in Beijing. Okay, now on this screen, so we are seeing the system, which is for the CT system uh, imaging analysis. So we imp uh, opposite the imaging, you know, for the whole city, uh, 3D scans, mm. like uh, over 500 images. 500 images. 500 images. And the system can automatically to analyze every single images. Then they pick up the, which is the positive sections. So far they show like a four positive spot and cover on the 71 images. Seven, uh, sections. So I'm kind of I'm kind of going back to what you said before is the efficiency. So sure. for them to analyze 500 images, how long it's does it take? Second, a few seconds. Second. But if we were to do it without AI, how long would it take? Uh, it could be like 15 minutes. 15 minutes, yeah. yeah. For uh, very expert ex uh, doctors. Medical imaging, which is used to produce images of organs and tissues within the body for diagnostic or screening purposes, is one of the most common but more successful applications in China's AI healthcare market that was worth some 20 billion US dollars in 2018. So this is one of the medical imaging rooms. So what they're doing is taking a picture of my skin, let's say or more, for example, and they're zooming into that and to see if they can diagnose anything that's wrong with my skin. So let's have a go. Now I'm using this AI to help you diagnose your skin. Then we put a white color so that it can be more clear and more clear. And the image will be more clear. 这是一个普通的纯净水。嗯，我们然后经过水以后，我们拍一张清晰的皮肤镜照片。现在我们用 AI 的技术来进行一下辅助的诊断。这项这项 AI 辅助诊诊断系统，然后给您诊断的是呃良性疾病，它的可信度是百分之九十一。嗯，下面给您列举了三种可能的疾病：色素痣有百分之五十四是一种色素痣的可能，然后皮肤纤维瘤有百分之三十九的可能，最后一个就是一个基底细胞癌，只有百分之八可能是基底细胞癌。嗯，所以说您这个是良性的可能性非常大。And hospitals are working closely with AI startups. And for Shukun Technology, the startup works with over 200 hospitals across China. Its expertise is applying AI technology to medical imaging for heart disease diagnosis. So far, they have 80 engineers, including computer programmers, working with doctors in hospitals on a full-time basis. And that's 60% of their total number of employees. Most of our engineers don't have a background of uh, medical. We are from the computer science or IT. Uh, so if we want to build a really uh, good software for the medical doctors, uh, we have to know the knowledge of the medical. Uh, we, we need to know where is the coronary vessels and uh, how we can judge the narrow in, the, in this kind of images. So without this knowledge, we cannot build this kind of software. Mm -hmm. We cannot uh, tell the AI how to learn the knowledge of this kind of experience. So we have to do that. And because of this cooperation, the engineers can use deep learning to develop their AI system in medical care. This original image cannot support the doctor to do diagnosis mm. for this heart disease. Mm. Uh, so 
what they need to do is to do the reconstruction for this kind of 3D or 2D images. Oh. When you do this medical imaging, how long does it take you to, to come up with the 3D? I mean, architecture like that. Uh, how long does only, it take you? Only one minute. Only one minute. And usually it's how long? Uh, at least 15 minutes. And the uh, average is uh, 20 minutes. Uh -huh. But there are still challenges with deep learning, as Dr. Liu explains. They could not become the independent diagnostic system because it's really related to a lot of uh, legal problems. So we are focusing the AI to use it on the clinical diagnosis supporting system, try to become the tool for the doctors. Deep learning might be the challenge going forward, but foreign venture capitalists like Ludovic Bowden from France and Amir Galor from Israel says demand and cooperation will also be driving factors in China's AI applications. Uh, to give you uh, a number, it's about 1.7 doctors for 1,000 habitants in China versus Europe or USA where we are 3.2. If we can save life uh, working together between countries, I think there is always a strong appetite on, on both sides. The focus we have is where Israel has strengths, so it has strengths in big data, AI, uh, semiconductor, medical device, digital health. We invest in the China companies or in the Israel companies. Um, trying to get the synergy and build a bridge. In the meantime, experts and industry insiders say AI's greatest contribution might be in healthcare. I'm Josh. Stay tuned with China Matters.